as we know, in any conflict-affected country, children became victim of the conflict itself. And especially the armed conflicts and children are not really uh, matching in, in terms of um, how much the armed conflict affects children's rights. Uh, child recruitment is one of the key um, violations, grave violations that children experience and not only in Iraq but in everywhere. Specifically now what's happening in Iraq, it's, it's extremely saddening. Um, I cannot give you statistics and numbers but we are very seriously concerned and, and urging uh, warring conflicts or warring uh, parties or parties to the conflict to adhere to the international human rights law. Recruiting children and, and, and using them as, as, as party to the conflict is, is a grave violation itself. And, and we, UNICEF, as an agency that has the mandate to protect children, are concerned, very seriously concerned, that many children may be recruited to the conflict. Uh, we don't care who recruits children, but recruited children to arms or recruiting children to the military or to uh, as part of their fighting force to anybody, uh, whichever side they belong to, is something that we warn against and something that we urge anybody who is a party to this conflict to be aware that there are international rights that they will be violating and specifically rights of children. These children were not supposed to be carrying guns. They were supposed to be in school. And, and any child that's below the age of 18 has the right to be protected, to be shown love, to be respected, and not to be given guns and be used as, 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 as a military or militia fighter or, or, or fighting against any group. So that's the position of UNICEF that we do not condone. And it saddens when we see or hear the issue of child recruitment becoming a big issue in, in, in countries affected by the conflict.